It's in the pile over here. One second. Yeah, I didn't look in there. Yes, yes, it is. Come on over and uh, right-click the the pile and and select open. All right. Ah. And find fishing. Right-click find fishing rod and select take. Right-click. It says steel. <laughs> it doesn't say take. <laughs> Steel. Steel. That's what it says. Yep. Wow, that's a surprise. Okay. Well, then I guess we're gonna have to make you one. Yeah, I don't want to steal it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, because if you if you get caught, the see you're you're a member of Freedom Miles. I don't under or, or a member of uh, and here's here's the rowboat. Okay. But all right, well then we will just we'll fool them. We'll we'll make one. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna teach you how to chop a tree. All right. And you would use that and be able to improve it even more. But it's now high enough quality that you'll be able to use it. All right. Right. So we're gonna do a little fishing. Let's come on down here. All right. So you'll see when you highlight, when you mouse over the ground, that your outlines of your squares go down into the water. Yeah. Okay. Well, what we're going to do is we're going to go around to the shore here where we can get to a little bit deeper water. This is a good spot. And yeah, yeah, over here. So basically... If we come right down to the edge of the water, there you go. There's the square that we're standing on. Okay. Yeah. Then there's the next square out. If you click that square, what you'll see is an eyeball. Yeah. Some tracks, and then what looks like a little jug pouring water. Yeah. Okay. The little jug pouring water allows you to actually take a drink. Okay. Okay. But now if you double click your fishing rod so that it turns green, you'll see there's another icon, which is a little fishing icon. Ah. Click it. All right. So if you click that, now your fishing pole it, in the bottom right box is where all the fishing information will take place. There's no animations or anything. You won't even see your line extend. But it'll say, you know, like you you cast your line out to catch a to to fish. So I'll do the same thing. You throw out the line and start fishing. Now there's a timer that you can see the blue bar at the bottom that's filling up. Yeah. And that's how long you'll fish before you give up fishing. It's probably around two and a half three minutes. Yeah. So far, our luck's about the same as it usually is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the, the, especially the very first time that, that you cast the line out. See, like, okay, I just got something bites. Something, something bites. bites on Hawkeye's hook. Yep. I catch a roach. All right, there you go. Little bitty fish. <laughs> I caught a catfish. You caught a roach. All right, so now if you want to fish more, go ahead and fish. In fact, I got to run to the bathroom, so why don't you go ahead and... You can just click that icon again and continue to fish in that same square. Well, Tynan has created an oven. Something's biting. Come on, let's get something big.
What is tininess doing? Ooh, I caught a pike. Awesome. Oh, nice. Caught a Hello. pike, huh? Yep. Hey. Oh, okay, so, um, that was, that was the hello emote that Eric F just used. Oh. I was wondering what that was coming up behind us. I could hear, I knew I heard something. Yeah. Yep, that's our bull's mutton, Jeff. <laughs> Love the names. Hello. How do I do so, that? So, to say hello back, um, either right click on the ground or right click on her, go down to emotes, go to nice, and then you can see there's lots of lots of, of there's smile, chuckle, applaud. Under neutral is where you wave, um, laugh, and so on and so forth. Why don't we Why don't we go back to the to the regular Discord channel now? Oh awesome. So in your inventory. You'll okay. want to double click your carving knife. All right. Gotcha. And then right right click the catfish and select feed bay. Well, the pike. I got a catfish. You got a pike. Fillet there of you pike. Go and fillet of pike. All right. Well, let's let's go teach you how to cook a meal. Let's go with the All roach right. bait. <laughs> no, the roach. The roach is good food, and as a matter of fact, because the roach is the beginning fish. As you as you fish more, what will happen is that the quality of the roach that you catch will get really high, and the higher the quality of the ingredients, the higher the quality of the meal. Cool. Okay. Basically, what we're waiting is for the bowl and the ingredients to get hot enough, and once they do, suddenly it will miraculously go through a conversion in which it will um, suddenly turn into a fish casserole. There you go. Pie casserole. casserole. All oh. right. So go ahead and pull your pottery bowl back over into your inventory. Okay. And if you right click the pike casserole and select eat, you will eat your pike casserole. Now you'll eat until you're full. You may have some left over. Something to know is that when you eat your food hot it does a better job for you than if you eat it when it's cold mm. because while you're eating if you mouse over your green stamina bar up there you'll see in the in the third line down you, you'll have your name the first line and then the second line and to the right it'll say nutrition and as you're eating that you'll see that your nutrition number will probably go up right you'll see your nutrition number going up your food percentage will be going up and you'll eat until that's gone or you're full whichever comes first oh, that's pretty so hungry you, <laughs> yep so you we are doing good now when you leave is do you have to do something with your person to keep them safe nope. like we do in some other games okay Nope, none of that stuff. All you have to do is just log out and you vanish from the world until you come back again. Okay. Looks like it's starting to become daytime. Yep. I'm going to have to go to the bathroom here and that's why I was asking. <laughs> but, uh, I don't know if I could just leave and something might come and kill me while I'm standing here. Or... <laughs> nope, because we have all these spirit templars around. There's nothing nasty going to get in to the settlement far enough to do you any harm. You're safe. What's what's a typical thing that might attack just in case, just for you, like if you go outside of here? Yep. What do you usually have to worry about most often? Animals or? Yeah, yeah. There's you'll you'll occasionally encounter a troll. Um, there are dragons, but they're very very rare. But it's usually gonna be bears, wolves, giant spiders, giant scorpions, wild cats, crocodiles, anaconda, orangutans, uh, gorillas, orangutan. Yep, breakfast cereals. You know. <laughs> right. <laughs> that's that's pretty good. Morning zombie. 
<laughs> you know, he was a. You know, they still use his voice, even though he's been like dead for years, because no one he no one can do the voice for him. He had a something signed where he's the only one that could be Tony the Tiger's voice. I did not know that. Mm-hmm. Yep, they're all rec old recordings from previous commercials. Nobody else does him. All right. That explains why he doesn't talk too much. Exactly. Yep. <laughs> Stop dragging and embark. Commander. All right. Commander. What we're going to do is we're going to see if we can get a look at some of the local wildlife. Oh, cool. Yeah, so or they can get a look no. at us. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, there are sharks, octopuses, dolphins. Yep. And uh, there are also whales. If you're lucky enough to see a whale, they breach and everything. It's really cool. We're oh, hung wow. up on a sandbar here. All right. Here we go. All right. Well, well this little bay over here. And there are duck sounds, but no ducks. It's, it's like how it used to be with the seagulls in Ark. Oh, yeah. Okay, I am recording this just because I think it's going to look cool. Yeah. Um, this bay over here is where one of our mines are. There are two mines here at the settlement. Okay. And um, what's that big thing going up in the sky? The, the light. Oh, okay. Yeah, the, there's that white ray and the black ray. Yeah. Now, the, the white ray and the black ray are the beacons for the altar of light and the altar of shadow. Um, like I say, they're in, there's religion in the game, and um, basically you have four powers of good, and you have one power of shadow. Hmm. And um, those indicate their special altar where you would go and dedicate yourself um, so that you could have the benefits of following one of them. I see. So basically, you know, one's like Sauron and the other... <laughs> the evil yeah, there's one. A, there's a, a, a goddess of, like, darkness and chaos, and then there are, um, like, there's a, a goddess of light and uh, lord of nature and so on and so forth. Right. But the reason I came over this way is because I'm hoping the giant spider is still over here so you can get a look at one of the giant spiders. Any giant badgers? But no giant badgers, no. Mm. But what we'll do is we'll come <laughs> on over towards this shore. You should be able to see some cows and sheep and things over here, some horses. So basically, if you go outside the boundaries, you're pretty much on your own, safety-wise. Yeah, but the the settlement extends out pretty far. Mm. So um, you can you can go quite a ways before you have to worry about you that. have to worry about it. Okay. Yeah, and any hostile that enters the the boundary immediately, the spirit templars come in to deal with them. But there we go. We've got some cows and horses up there. Yeah, I was telling Joe that uh, she shouldn't have to worry about fighting things. She can just... Yeah, yeah. If you don't want to deal with combat, you generally don't have to. Yeah. But got got some cows up there and some sheep. Is that a horse over the... Yep, a couple of gray horses. <coughs> Black Mabel would like, be another good one. Yep. Um, this this little projection to land out here, um, it's got lots of walnuts on it, but right out ahead of us is a great white shark. Oh, really? Where? Yep. Right ahead of the boat, if you use your mouse, you'll, you'll highlight oh, I see red. It. Yep. Oh, wow. Aged hue shark. Yep. So you don't yeah, want to be sure. in the water. Yeah, you don't oh. want to be in this water. Joe, there's you a great... It. Oh, she's watching her show. Damn. Yeah. He's pretty awesome. It's yeah. Bruce. It's Bruce. <laughs> yeah.
There must be 20 feet of him. 25. There's three tons of him. <laughs> I think we but need I a bigger agree. boat. Yep. <laughs> you know how many times I've seen that movie? Jesus Christ. Love that movie. The others sucked, but that one was good. Just... Oh, there's another shark, I think. Right out ahead of us. Yep. Aged huge shark. We're going to pass him. Nose of the boat's about to pass him now on the left side. I see him. Hey, dude. And oh, he's uh, following us. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I see the horse. Want to buy a duck? But that right there, right on the sand, that's a rose. Rose bush. In fact, there's two of them right there. You gotta grab some and decorate. Oh yeah, you can do trellises, rose trellises. I know you are always big on the roses in the uh, Minecraft world. Yep. I don't want to do that. Oh wow, I'd never noticed that before. Is that like a... What is that, a moon or what is that? Oh yeah, yeah, there's uh, four or five moons. And each one of the moons actually is representative of one of the deities in the game. Yep. There's a scorpion. Where? If you, on the sand point that's up ahead of us, to the left. To the left of the the point of the boat. Oh, oh, I see it now. Yeah. All right. Straight ahead. Are we safe so, here? Oh yeah, they don't swim. Okay. In fact, the water is your safe escape from most species. Except for, of course, the crocodiles, sharks. anacondas. There's Ring. a bison on the left, a venerable bison. But there you go, giant scorpion. Oh, wow. And I mean giant scorpion. Aged scorpion and aged horse. Yep, that scorpion is bigger than that horse is. Now, what, now is there, would there be a reason to fight it? I mean, is there something you get from them that you could use? Oh, yes. That's yes, what I absolutely. The oh, oh, and there's a dolphin. Oh, where? Would you, we just we just passed him here. I'll, I'll swing us around. Oh, I see him now. Yep, I see him there. Oof. At this point, you'd be safe. I mean, real the real world that is, you'd be safe to go in the water. Mm-hmm. But um, yeah. Uh, giant scorpions are the only source for making red dye. Hmm. Because from them we get cochineal, which is used to produce red dye. Oh. And red dye is a necessary component for a couple of things. Um, when you build a bridge in this game, you can't just like build a bridge. You've actually got to survey it, and you need you need the red dye to make the surveying rod to go with the tripod. Oh wow! Ooh. So yep. somebody has to fight a scorpion no matter what. Yep. But yeah, Mr. Scorpion, Aged Scorpion, as a matter of fact. That's what it said, yeah. Yeah. And there just, are some just, bison and horses. Just passing by. Thought I'd say hello. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you remember that old cartoon. Yep. Yeah. And there on the shore is a venerable crocodile. Ah. Oh. But those are walnut trees in there. I was going to say, those all look like a grove of some kind. Mm -hmm. Same type of tree. But So there you go. So we saw giant scorpion and the crocodile. I'm going to swing us back around for the settlement. But I just thought, well, you know, it would be fun to get out in the boat so you can see what the boats are like. Well, and, that's uh, what I wanted to do first is really kind of explore and see what was around. Mm-hmm. Before I even did anything yeah. else, that's just kind of a thing. I I don't know. The Indiana yep, Jones yep. here, Indiana Jonesing, you know. Yep. Well, I figured, you know, getting getting started, do a couple of fun things, you know, get you get you fishing, so that you can see what fishing is like in the game and. Uh, Take you out, show you a couple of the beasties. 
that kind of stuff. So. Well, I figure the next time, you know, I get on, like, do some more serious stuff and help people and whatnot. Mm -hmm. All right, and so to exit, click right-click the boat and select disembark. All right. <clears throat> What's that little? All right. Oh, it's just a little icon telling me that I have a swimming. Okay. Yep. <laughs> Come on up, and we'll get a drink of water, and then we can check out some of the stuff we got going on here. All right. Come on in. Take off your skin. Rattle around your bones. Yeah. Uh, so remember, you right-click, select open, and then right-click where it says water, and select drink. Okay. Now, what would you use taste for? Just to test to see if it's drinkable or something, or...? Yeah, taste will tell you whether or not something is going to be very nutritious. Um, taste will uh, usually give you some some basic information about whether or not it's a benefit to you. So it's kind of like but, examine just for the sense of yeah, taste, yeah. whatever. Okay, gotcha. All right, <clears throat> well, over here we have some of the horses. Ah. On in. I got. Hey guys, how's it going? These horses um, belong to uh, most of the other crew. Uh, me and Jess have our our uh, horses separate. Um, the horses will eat the grass, and they can basically trample it bare. But uh, the light gray horses like this are kind of the standard horses that you'll find around in most places. Nice. Some variation of of the gray like this. Um, we come on through this gate here. This is the this is the barn. Now to go up a ladder, basically get right on top of it, right click, select climb up. All right. There you go. And this is uh, ba so basically warehouse space. There's two barns right next to each other, and the upper level is for for storage. Okay. Not <clears throat> haven't had to start using it yet. Now, what do you do? A climb down or something? Yep. Yeah. Exactly. Get right up on on the ladder and right click the top of the ladder. Select climb down, and you will descend. Cool. All right, let's head out the, the back door here. And we'll go through this gate. What gets me is you all have had to build everything here as if you were actually building it. Yeah, yeah. That just blows my mind. I've Just the little bit that I've seen, I'm like, oh my god, I can't even imagine. And here are the cows got a couple of cows here and then these are me and Jess's horses so oh, nice. Black the, horses. the white horse here is mine and this uh, painted pony over here is mine as well cool and the two black horses belong to Jess but all right so hit I to open your inventory or if it's not open okay somewhere in your list you will see rope double click it to turn it green okay all right all right, and step up next to the horse. All right. And then left click the horse. Okay. And you will have the eyeball and then you'll have four icons. The first one is to attack him. The second one is to feed him. The third one is taming. And the last one to the right is lead. Okay. So go ahead, click lead. All right. And now your icons will have changed and one of them will have a curving arrow going up and then down onto the back of the horse's back. That's to mount, and you may have to step up closer to get that. There you go. Oh, cool. All right, so to to move the horse, 
now now you're strictly W A S and D, so W to walk forward, A and D to turn him. Okay. That's pretty cool. But you don't have to own the horse to be able to ride it? Right, right. You don't have to have a saddle and you don't have to have them tamed. Um, as long as you're part of a settlement, you can you can use the animals that are part of the settlement. I see. That's cool. It's a pretty horse. And then, yep, and you figured out dismount quick and easy. Now, with your rope highlighted, walk up to the cow and do lead, and you'll find that you can mount the cow as well and ride the cow. Oh. Okay. And there's there's pretty much a long running gag about battle cows because when you start the game and uh, well somehow I um, mounted the horse. I must have still been. Oh, you yeah, you must have still been leading him. Uh, hold on. I must still have the hold on. Let me. Yeah, what you have to do is double click the cow to make sure you select the cow. <clears throat> well, I didn't mean to feed him. <laughs> there you go. Now you're on a battle cow. <laughs> That's funny. In in this game, in the combat, even though combat resolves automatically, um, height is a big advantage in battle. And so being at all above your opponent really helps a lot in terms of your survivability. And so when you're really low level and you figure that you're likely going to have to fight, fighting from the back of a cow gives you enough of a difference in elevation that it can give you a really strong advantage against, you know, the, the various critters that you're fighting. The other thing is that when you're riding an animal, unless, unless you're doing certain things, you're really not using up your stamina. And so, of course, you can travel a lot farther. Um, and basically the animals are limited in terms of their climbing because of course they're carrying weight on their back right but that's pretty cool there will eventually be pigs and sheep and chickens and all kinds of other stuff going on and pheasants and all of that but <clears throat> let's uh pop out the back gate here no llamas no llamas no no orangutans damn yeah but but uh this is the building that we're working on that's going to be the uh, basically the crafting building you know the crafty building for uh smithing and working stone and that kind of stuff i see so it's going to be a nice big space it's five by five and uh it'll have a uh, like two or three floors and this is so this is where we'll be doing all of our blacksmithing and stone working and all of that kind of stuff that's cool 